والسلام عباد الله رحمكم الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم respected elders brothers respected mothers sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام الحمد لله الحمد لله very happy moment of our lives that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the ability to observe Ramadan, to practice, to participate in it. And alhamdulillah, now it is the time that we collect our reward on this day of Eid. Alhamdulillah. It's a day to be very happy. It's a day to be joyous, to wish each other our happiness, send our blessings upon each other, to visit our family, to spread salam in between us, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to realize this blessing. May Allah SWT make it easy for us to stay on the straight path, the path of those who Allah SWT has favored, not the path of those who have earned the anger of Allah or have gone astray. My brothers and sisters, I just want to share a few things that are, this is a reminder for myself first and for everyone here. Nothing that I'm about to say is probably new to you. You've probably heard this many times. But simply a reminder, as humans we can forget. It's okay, that's just how we were designed. Alhamdulillah, we should be happy and we should make it a point that we keep remembering what Allah SWT wants from us and what is true success. In our life, we will be told many times this is true success or that is true success. Getting a house is true success. Getting a degree is true, true success. Becoming a doctor is true success. You know, you're gonna be posed with these scenarios. People online or outside will try to sell you ideas of success and peace. But I just want to remind myself and remind everyone here, even though we live in this, this society and we embrace this society and we are part of this society, we need to realize that true success is nothing else at the end of the day except passing away in a state with the kalima la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah in our hearts. Passing away in a state where we have true belief, Iman. True belief and Iman, right? On what? That there is none worthy of worship but Allah, our Creator, our Sustainer, the one who brought us here, the one who we will go back to. We didn't just come here, my brothers. We're gonna go back somewhere. And that's who we have to believe in. He's our doer, He does everything for us. He created us. He knows what we don't know. He knows what we need. He knows better than us what we need. If we think we need something, and Allah SWT knows better, absolutely He knows better. He knows what we need. And to have true belief in the Prophet Muhammad SAW, that He is the final messenger. He is nothing but a servant of Allah, the messenger of Allah, Rasulullah SAW. But, I mean, with utmost respect, that we believe in Him as truly that He is our he is our Rasul, He is our Messenger. And may Allah SWT allow us to drink from the Holy Ghost or from His hands. May Allah SWT allow us to meet Him in Jannah. May Allah SWT allow us to meet our families in Jannah and be in peace with them. Amin ya Allah. And now we have laid out what true success is, right? True success is passing away in a state where you have belief even a little bit in this concept. Of, La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. That there is none worthy of worship of Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is his messenger. And the reality is that there is no, nothing, there is no failure. You know, you might fail an exam, you might get expelled from your school, you might, get your, you might lose your job, you might lose your house, you might even lose your family. But I just want you to know that as long as we have this kalima, we are successful. True failure, my brothers and sisters, true failure is passing away in a state without that is true failure. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to attain success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to attain, attain success in this world and the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to be guided, to pass away in a state. No matter, we might dwindle on the way there. You know, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to pass away in a state that we have iman, we have belief in one Allah. We have belief in that Creator who created us, who brought us here, who sustained us in our mother's womb, and who has brought us here, and will take us back to a place we are not aware of. May Allah SWT make it easy for us. Amen. I'd like to share one hadith of the Prophet 
And this is a, a hadith that you might have heard uh, before. But this hadith will remind us of some important lessons that we should follow on this day of Eid and throughout our lives and in the society. Right? So when the Prophet ﷺ, I'm going to try giving a little background, inshallah. Just, and when the Prophet ﷺ, he left the city of Mecca. He left the city of Mecca because he was persecuted for the reason that he believed in one Allah and he believed and, 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 that he believed in one Allah. And he spread this message. So he was persecuted, his people were killed, and a good and his people were non-stop persecuted by the Quraysh of Mecca. Even his own family members persecuted him my brothers and sisters. And he left that city, and he went to Medina, which was then known as Yathra. Now it is known as Medina to the Munawara, the enlightened city of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when he went to Medina to the Munawara, he came to a, uh, he first stopped at an area known as Quba, right, Thaniya al Wada, and then Quba. And when he stopped at Quba, then a few days later, then he went to Medina finally. And he, when, he, when he entered Medina, now this is the uh, this is the narration of Abdullah ibn Salam who was once the head rabbi of Medina. This is the account of a head rabbi in Medina that later on became Muslim uh, upon this hadith. He saw he came to hear about the Prophet Sallallahu and entered Medina, and he saw a large crowd around him. So he went to see what's going on, and he went closer, and he went closer, and he finally saw the Prophet Sallallahu at that moment, he had full peace in his mind. He saw, SubhanAllah, this is someone who speaks the truth. And he heard and he narrates the hadith that the Prophet ﷺ on that occasion of entering Medina, right? Entering Medina, a city that only had become Muslim within the last year. Not everyone in that city was Muslim yet. Alhamdulillah, a good majority of them became Muslim. And it was just a year. They were just learning about Islam. They didn't know too much, right? And he said to them, Ayyuhan Nas, O people, O people, Afshu Salam, spread Salam, spread Salam amongst you, spread peace amongst you. Say Salam to each other. We need to say Salam to each other. We need to learn each other's names. We need to know who we are. We need to build this community. For example, when we go back to the masjid or even here, right? Try to make a point that you say salam and you meet everyone in that masjid, in that locality. Know people in your community. Even outside of the masjid, know people in your community. If you see someone in the fruit market, you see someone outside, you see someone by the bus stop driving, say assalamu alaikum to them. Spread salam. We'll eventually learn who we are. We'll learn each other and we'll strengthen this community. Inshallah, may Allah make it easy for us. And 